Our star quarterback, Jordan Love, got injured in the last game, and everyone has been eager to know how he's doing. Well, the great news is we have some exciting updates. Although the injury caused a big scare, it might not be as severe as it first seemed. Coach Matt LaFleur has brought an update that will surely ease fans' minds. Want to know what he revealed? Stick around to find out how Love is recovering and what this means for the Packers' upcoming games. Go Pack Go! Jordan Love suffered a knee injury during the game in Sao Paulo, and the concern was high, especially given the severity it appeared to have. The injury was described as an MCL sprain, which can be quite serious. However, Coach Matt LaFleur provided a more positive outlook by confirming that the injury is not as severe as it initially seemed. LaFleur informed us that, despite the initial scare, Love's injury is considered more of a day-to-day issue rather than a weeks-long one. This means that recovery might be quicker than expected, and there is a good chance that Love could return to play soon. This news has relieved some tension, as the initial expectation was for Love to be out for a longer period. With this positive update, attention now shifts to how the Packers will handle the situation if Love cannot play immediately. The next step is to see how Malik Willis performs as a substitute, and if Love cannot play against the Colts, Willis will get a chance to prove himself. Thus, the team is already preparing for the scenario where Love might not be available, and choosing the right substitute will be crucial for maintaining the team's performance. Matt LaFleur brought some encouraging news about Jordan Love's recovery timeline. Initially, it was expected that Love might be out for three to six weeks due to the MCL injury. However, LaFleur hinted that the situation might be more optimistic. He mentioned that, based on the current progress, Love could have a chance to return to the field sooner than previously thought. This optimism is a big relief for Packers fans, who were worried about the possibility of a prolonged absence for the quarterback. LaFleur highlighted that Love's progress has been positive and that the medical team is doing an excellent job ensuring a speedy recovery. The possibility of an earlier return is encouraging news for both fans and the team, who are eager to see Love leading the offense again. As the team prepares for Love's eventual return, it's important to watch how Malik Willis adjusts to the starting role. With the expectation that Love might return sooner, the Packers will need to manage the transition carefully to keep the team competitive. Therefore, the strategy for the upcoming games will become crucial, and how Willis and Love fit into the team will be a key focus. If Jordan Love isn't ready for the game against the Indianapolis Colts, Malik Willis will be the starting quarterback. Willis has been intensely preparing for this responsibility, and the team's confidence in his abilities is clear. LaFleur mentioned that Willis is doing everything he can to prepare for the potential starting role, showing dedication and effort to ensure he's ready to lead the team if needed. The decision to potentially start Willis is a demonstration of the Packers' depth and flexibility. With Love still recovering, the team needs a solid plan to ensure they stay competitive. Willis, with his preparation and skills, has the opportunity to prove his worth and maintain the team's level of play while Love recovers. Additionally, the current situation highlights the importance of having a good contingency plan and how the team must be ready to adapt to changes. Managing Love's situation and Willis's ability to step up shows how crucial preparation is for any scenario. Now, attention turns to how the team will handle the rest of the roster, especially with the potential promotion of Sean Clifford for the game. Jordan Love is putting in maximum effort to get back on the field as soon as possible. With the support of the Packers' medical resources and training staff, Love is focused on his recovery. LaFleur emphasized that the quarterback is utilizing all available resources to speed up his return and is working hard to improve his physical condition. Love's dedication reflects his determination to get back to playing and leading the team. The medical team is closely monitoring his progress and adjusting the rehabilitation plan as needed. With all this support, there's a good chance Love could return to the field earlier than expected, which is encouraging news for the team and fans. As Love focuses on his recovery, the Packers also need to be prepared for any eventuality. Love's ability to recover quickly and the effort he's putting into the process are crucial for the near future. Now, with Love's situation evolving, attention shifts to strategic decisions about the roster and preparation for the upcoming challenges. 
The Packers' decision not to add an additional quarterback this week is a positive sign about Jordan Love's condition. The team opted not to bring in a new player for the position, which indicates confidence in Love's recovery and the ability of Malik Willis and Sean Clifford to manage the situation. This choice shows that the team believes they can handle the upcoming challenges with the quarterbacks they already have. By not seeking a temporary replacement, the Packers are showing faith in Love's recovery and Willis's readiness to take on the starting role if necessary. Additionally, the decision avoids the need for last-minute roster adjustments and allows the team to stay focused on their season goals. As the team prepares for upcoming games, confidence in Love's recovery and Willis's abilities is crucial. The quarterback situation will be closely monitored, and any future decisions about the roster will be influenced by how Love progresses in his recovery. With the roster situation clearer now, attention turns to how Sean Clifford might be integrated into the team if needed. Currently, the Packers have Jordan Love and Malik Willis on the active roster, with Sean Clifford on the practice squad. The decision to elevate Clifford for Sunday's game will depend on Love's condition. If Love isn't ready to play, it's likely that Clifford will be promoted to ensure the team has a reliable alternative available for the game. Elevating Clifford to the active roster is a precautionary measure, ensuring the Packers are prepared for any situation. Even if Love might return sooner than expected, having Clifford available adds an extra layer of security. The team is preparing for all possibilities and adjusting their plan as needed. This preparation for the game against the Colts highlights the importance of having a versatile roster and being ready to adapt to circumstances. Managing the quarterback situation will be crucial for maintaining the team's competitiveness. With the decision about Clifford pending, the team is making adjustments to ensure they are fully prepared, no matter who ends up playing. So, what did you think about the latest update on Jordan Love's injury? The encouraging news is that Love might be able to return to the field sooner than initially feared. This is a huge relief, given the initial shock of his injury and the concern that he might be sidelined for a longer period. As the Packers navigate through this period, they're ensuring they're well-prepared for every possible outcome. Malik Willis is set to step up as the starting quarterback if Love isn't ready for the next game, and there's also the possibility of elevating Sean Clifford from the practice squad. This proactive approach ensures that the team remains competitive and ready to tackle their upcoming challenges, no matter who is leading the offense. We're eager to hear your perspective. How do you think Love's potential early return could influence the team's performance moving forward? Do you think Willis or Clifford will be able to keep the team's performance on track until Love is back? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more updates as we continue to follow Love's recovery and the Packers' progress throughout the season. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to bringing you more updates in our next video.